Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of GTV. And I've been coming out with content no, that focuses on like how to help influencers and creators. So we already had like sessions on the experiences of Frances and Trixie no, being a blogger and being a PR uh, representative of the PR agencies. And then we also had online communities with Louise and Gracie. No? So today, I'm very honored to have my dear friend, Miss Ace Gapus. She's the founder of Blogapalooza. Hi, Ace! Hi! Magandang araw! Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whichever oh. part of the world you may be right now. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ace, no, that you, you agreed to be interviewed. No? I'm sure because a lot of our uh, viewers right now want to learn more about like uh, what is Blogapalooza, what's happening in the influencer or content creator landscape, and ano ba nangyayari sa mga brands. So maybe you could just tell us briefly what's your background no, and how are okay. you like helping out all of these people. Right. Right. Well, uh, I think best to start kung saan talaga ako nagsimula. No? I started blogging in 2001 as one of the earliest talaga, even before the OG, OG na sinasabi nila. No? Yes. Um, but but um, everything started, no? talagang written form, long form, kwento talaga. Wala pa namang mga ano noon, sophisticated camera. So my background really started 2001 pa, matagal-tagal na. And, you know, uh, nagkaroon ng social media, everything evolved in the internet space. And fast forward to 2015, that's when we actually formalized Blogapalooza as a company. It used to be known as an event for those who are medyo matagal-tagal in the industry. Kinala si Blogapalooza as an event. But in 2015, we formalized it. We incorporated as an influencer marketing company. And from there, we really had to uh, parang position our core as a bridge between influencers and the brands. So until now, that's still what we do. We bridge businesses and influencers. And um, we work with content creators of various formats. Maybe mm -hmm. bloggers na long-form text pa rin, uh, Instagrammers, YouTubers, even TikTokers na bago na. So, um, sinasabayan lang din natin yung evolution of the market, depende kung ano yung mga channels na lumalabas, yeah. napatok for the audiences. Sige, Ace, that's good to know, no? So, maybe you can expound mm -hmm. on, like, what do you mean by, like, a marketing channel? Or, like, um, mm -hmm. what, how, how do you collate all of these influencers? And then, mm -hmm. um, what do you do, no? What's your responsibility? Or what should we expect as influencers from you? Or what should we expect as brand owners from you? Okay. All right. Uh, well, the, the first part of the question, I'll answer that muna, no? The way that we parang aggregate mm -hmm. these influencers is via social media lang din because that's where they're active, eh. So, um, we have a Facebook group. It's the Blogapalooza Influencer Community. But more than that, we also have yung mga, you know, our internal technologies that uh, we make them sign up. They have to opt in so that we have access to their information. And then, with whatever information is provided to us, the way that we give value to the brands is we are able to let the brands know na, ah, okay, these are the influencers that are the best matches for my campaign. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, for many reasons, maybe yeah. oh, um, they, they, they fit the, the goal of the campaign. Their content is something that we would like. Their aesthetic is, uh, you know, aligned with our branding. And, uh, you know, many other factors. Even location plays a big role sometimes, no? Uh, yeah. As for the influence, Influencers, siempre uh, as the parang representing uh, company, you know, when they engage with brands, of course they're protected legally in terms of the contracts. Yeah. So you know, and and we've you know probably we've also encountered a lot of stories na ganito yung parang ah oh, hindi ako binabayaran ni brand or ang tagal tagal nung ano uh, yung brand did not really uh, you know make good with whatever was committed. So um, as the parang representative of the influencer, we are we deal with the businesses, the brands, the clients on a business to business level so that the influencers as individuals or independent contractors are protected and they get what is due them. Okay. You know, so um, that's the value that we bring to both sides. The influencer side is protected, the business interests also of the client are protected. 
that's nice. So in this yeah. in this um interview no, in this video, I think I'll let's focus siguro more on like how brands should interact no with with yeah. these influencers. So sige, mm-hmm. you mentioned that you segment the different influencers. Yeah. So maybe mm-hmm. can you talk about uh can you talk more about like let's say I've heard the terms like micro influencers. Yeah. So what are uh-huh. these and ano ba yung tiering no? I've heard of yeah. a tiering also for for Yes. Yes. Alam mo this this terms na micro nano influencers uh-huh. meron pa nga mga mega yung mga ganyan. <laughs> these are all terms that are loosely used and uh wala naman talagang standard no na pag Pag sinabi mong 10,000 followers, micro na ba yung walang standard. And you can you are free to search different sources. Different countries will have different uh, tiers yeah. uh, because of the social media population, right? Okay. Say, um, an example is, say, in the Philippines, broadly, we define, or at least internal to our company, no, we define nano-influencers as those that have 10,000 followers below, in Instagram okay. at least, no? Uh, and by the way, yung mga micro, nano, yung mga ganyan, ang basis nito is Instagram followers. If you will check most of mm. the marketers, ano? So, um, that's how we would just loosely define it. And it's it's purely marketing, you know? You know, parang pag, pag sinabi mo na, oh, micro-influencer, ah, okay, siguro mga ano na yan, mga 10,000 to 100,000. Again, micro-influencer. Okay. So, like, what if you what if you go higher than 100,000 followers? Take note, this is Instagram, huh? What if you go higher than 100,000? Oh, baka mega-influencer na siya. <laughs> Meron, tapos, <laughs> tapos <laughs> parang, Diba? May mga ganun. It's very, very loosely used and that one I can attest to because I do that every day. Uh-huh. Uh, but, but, but then again, you know, this is the Philippines. So if you look at Indonesia that has a population that is so much higher than the Philippines, yeah. Yung 10,000 nila, it's like a common person na everybody can have 10,000. Oh, yes. Diba? Uh-huh. Dito hirap na hirap tayo mag 10,000. Sa kanila, 10,000 is nothing. Dito sa yeah. Pilipinas, most, most, ano, parang, parang heavily followed yung pinakamaraming followers, that's Ann Curtis. And Ann doesn't even have 15 million or meron na ba? But in Indonesia, 15 million, parang, ano lang, mid-tier. Mid-tier oh, celebrity oh, oh. ka lang. Kasi doon, yeah. 30 million is easily achievable. You know what I mean? So, yeah. this is a term that's very use, uh, loosely used lang para lang meron tayong basis. So, mm-hmm. if you're a brand, you don't go naman to, like, let's say, hindi naman siya ganon na. Like, I need to have, like, micro-influencers. <laughs> this oh, much oh, micro-influencers, hindi naman. Oh, oh. Not- I mean, like, um, when, when brands ask us that, no, we ask them, what is your definition of micro? Some brands we've talked to, ang micro nila, 10,000 micro na nila yon, uh-huh. Or 5,000 micro na nila yon because wala silang term na nano. You know what I mean? Yes. So, yes. Uh, so um, it's, uh, wala naman talagang definition pa so mm-hmm. far. Wala pang definition for that. Okay. So, if I'm a brand, so what are the most important things that I need to know before I like look for influencers. Mm-hmm. Well, very important number one is the why. <laughs> why are you engaging influencers? Diba? First and foremost, parang dahil ba nakikita mo yung mga other brands or competitors dahil lang nakikita mong they're engaging influencers, engage ka na rin. Parang, uh, I, I don't want to start engagements or influencer projects Mm-hmm. on that foot, no? Uh, has to be why. And, and the reason why I'm saying this is many brands have the parang the, 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 the incorrect assumption now when they engage influencers, it's like mm-hmm. the magic pill. It's not, no? Yeah. It's like, it's like, ano, an ingredient to a very, very masarap na ulam, you know? Yeah. So, so, parang, uh, kumbaga parang, uh, paano tayo makakapagluto ng pinakbet kung, alam mo yun, kung wala namang bagoong or something like that. Uh-huh. Parang siyang ganon na, na sometimes a pinakbet doesn't have kalabasa. Mm-hmm. Ba? And, 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 and it's fine. It's, it's fine. And it's fine. fine yeah? yeah. But if it has kalabasa, it's so much better. Or think of influencer marketing or influencers okay. in general as your kalabasa. Di ba? Mm-hmm. It's so much better when they're there. But they don't have to be there all the time. Mm-hmm. Okay? They're just, they're just, uh, parang, they're just an ingredient to make the marketing campaign better. Okay. Right? Yes. 
So that's mm-hmm. what they need to know, no? So why are they yeah. engaging with, with these influencers? Kailangan may why muna. Parang is this something that is uh, really, you know, it's, does it help the lasa mm-hmm. of the ulam? <laughs> yeah. If it doesn't, if it doesn't, it probably it's not the best time to engage influencers, di ba? Yeah. If your market is the, you know, yung mga nakatira doon sa kabundukans who right. don't even have access to the internet, probably, you know, probably hindi okay yung influencer marketing in social media. Probably, you really have to go there in the kabundukans and yeah. do, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, Ace, I want to know your thoughts to, about like, we all know of like the funnel or what, however you call it, na, the customer journey, which is like yeah. starts with, let's say, awareness and then yeah. you go to decision making and then conversion later on. So where in the funnel do like influencers fall, uh, mm. fall in? No? And then yeah. um, what are like the campaigns that you've seen before that were most mm-hmm. effective really? And uh-huh. maybe set that as like examples. Uh-huh. mm mm-hmm. Very, very good question. You know? Actually, when you speak of the customer journey or the purchase funnel, whatever man yan, influencers are vital in every aspect or in every stage of that funnel. No? Let's start possibly with awareness. Siyempre, pag awareness, di ba? given na yan. Di ba? Influencers have reach, they have followers, they have people that believe in them. So awareness, definitely. The consideration phase is next. Memorize ko yung purchase funnel. Hindi ko ito ni-review. Uh, 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 <laughs> On the spot ito, guys. Ha? Uh, you know, uh, 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 and we always discuss this to the clients kasi ano, sa awareness given, di ba? And it's parang self-explanatory. Mm-hmm. For the consideration phase, ando na yung parang alam na nila yung brand mo eh. Parang it's, it's part of their ano na, choices. But how do we really push the consumer to choose us? Probably that's testimonials. And these are Again, a, a, a part where influencers can can come into play. Correct. And then, meron na tayong awareness, consideration, parang intent, intent, oh, conversion ah, na yan. Oh, yan, oh, ganyan. Oh. Sabi mo, conversion na. So, andun na rin, again, yung final push na naman. Conversion, where are you available? Mm-hmm. Or, um, in the moments that you're scrolling or in the moments that you're buying and that the openness to purchase is there, what are we doing? Probably, you know, may mga you know, uh, maybe, you know, nakita nila na nagbabrowse lang sila, oy, may pinoko si Mami Ginger na ING Philippines. Oo. Oh. Oh, ano, sige na nga, download ko na nga tong ING Philippines na to. And that really happened to me, di ba? I mean, yes, prior yes. to this. Prior, <laughs> prior to this. this ba? Oh, prior to this interview. Hindi yeah. po to scripted. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. so, gano'n, no? So, maybe, um, a brand, no? as a brand, you, you may want to go through all of these, no? You may want yes. to go through the customer journey of your own customers. Yes. Yes. and see where they actually engage or talk mm-hmm. to influencers mm-hmm. no, to make yes. that decision. Right. And there are also different strategies ha, depending on the funnel. Yeah. Awareness, yeah. iba yung strategy dyan. Ang, ang consideration, iba ulit yung communication mo dyan. So it's uh-huh. important for brands to really consider why are we involving influencers in the first place. Sige. So the, the easiest siguro um, level would be awareness. No, Let's talk yes. about awareness. So I read this article where in the most effective, da- I don't know if it's effective. No? I mean, it's just like a research of like yeah, some yeah. random person as well. No? And uh-huh. the most effective is really to get now like an influencer or a, like KOL or a content mm-hmm. creator mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. various circles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yung, like, is it something that you would advise brands to do? Because mm-hmm. I've been seeing like, kunare, I mean, kung bra- brand ka like Pampers and then Mommies, mm-hmm. sometimes hindi mo talaga alam like who circle belongs to whom. Diba? Mm-hmm. Like, Ano ba yun? Like, sinong bumabagsak sa, let's say, sa circle yeah, yeah, yeah. ni Mommy Ginger, ni right, uh, right, right. Maki, etc. No? So, right, right. Um, like, how do you determine that if that's a strategy that we should also, like, think of? Okay. Uh, well, for one, at least in Blogapalooza, we have technologies to determine mm-hmm. that. So, that makes the segmentation easy. But, if you're looking at, if you want to do it as a brand, as yourself, uh, Kaya nga sabi nila, no, uso yung 
parang A-B testing. Kung baga, iterate and refine as yeah. you go, di ba? Some brands, when they're doing influencer marketing strategies for the very first time, of course, they wouldn't know sino ba talaga yung dapat kausapin. Mm-hmm. Probably, probably because of social media, they would have their mental list or mm-hmm. nung, nung, nung segments. Parang probably alam na nila, oh, I'll, I'll probably go to the Mommy Bloggers Philippines or I'll probably go to this and that and that and that. So that's a very, very wide casting of the net, di ba? Right. And then, and then while they're doing more and more and more campaigns, that makes it easier for them. Ah, ito nag-work. Ah, ito hindi. Ah, ito mahirap kausap. Ah, ito grabe. Mm, naipit mm-hmm. talaga kami dyan. You know, okay. so the more that they do the campaigns, of course, they learn also kung paano ba yung segmentation, sino ba dapat yung mga i-target. Okay. But, but, um, the way that we, kumbaga, cut that dirty experience is, uh, we've, we've, ano na, we've, um, you know, we've done so many campaigns na, we know who to work with, we know how, you know, how easy yeah. or how difficult to it is to work with specific individuals or groups of influencers. So, that just makes the job very, very easy for, for right. the brands. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, for example, no, Ace, I, I'm assuming a lot of um, MSMEs are also watching. Yeah. Kasi yun talaga yung parang market. Yes. You know? So, mm-hmm. If I were like a business owner, and syempre I have limited funds, no? And yeah. I know like some friends who are like, let's say, influencers. Pero syempre nahihiya ako to like, ah, sige, I want to approach them. Pero I don't yeah. know exactly what to say. Kasi maraming ganun eh. Like, what do I ask from, di ba? From, mm-hmm. from my friend, influencer. Mm-hmm. Do I ask for like, what, di ba? Hindi nila alam where to begin eh. And yeah, may, yeah, yeah. Bayan, babayaran ba kita? Or ex-deal ba yan? Yeah. How does yeah. it happen? Like, ganun Uh-oh. siguro. Let's start with the basics mm-hmm. like that. Uh, well, I think the very first thing that I will say is, dito nagiging tricky yung influencer marketing, mm-hmm. no? Parang, for, when you talk about influencer marketing, there's always a thin line na there's advertising, which is paid, and public relations, which is earned, or yes. we pray for it. <laughs> uh, in, in advertising, we pay. In PR, we pray. So there's that. There's, there's that. Uh, parang ano eh, mix of both. You know? mm-hmm. um, when, when we talk about, of course, influencers that we have good relationships with, it's so much easier to negotiate better terms with them. Mm-hmm. Probably eh, some of them, pang will just do it for free or do it for goodwill, right? Yeah. Uh, but of course, when we approach influencers that, you know, we don't even know them, they haven't even heard of us, or maybe maybe they've mm-hmm. heard of us, or parang, but, 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 but they don't know anything no. about us. Ganyan. Wala that's a, that's a, no. oh, yes. oh, that's a different story. Siyempre, wala naman nang, there's no such thing as free lunch nowadays, di ba? Mm-hmm. And of course, we're tapping into something that the influencer has built. Uh, but by himself, by herself, followers niya, credibility niya, trust ng people sa kanya, and even the name that that influencer carries is something that we would want to attach our brand to. So, you know, so it's, um, it's always an art, yes, in that mm-hmm. regard. But the science there is, ano yung, kumbaga, parang how would you give value or an amount to, to to that kind of, of of relationship that you will want to have with the influencer, yeah. diba? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Parang, uh, that's a difficult question to answer or some yeah. a topic that <laughs> is challenging to comment about. Pero yeah, it's the way that I would I would explain mm-hmm. influencer marketing. It's a mix of advertising and public relations. So mm-hmm. paano yung approach? The approach is an art. Okay? Yeah. But Yes, always. The approach is an art, but the negotiation, the commercials, that's where the science comes in. Yeah. So, yeah, no? So, normally naman pag may, in, pag kunwari, uh, matagal nyo nang ginagawa yan, no? as an influencer, normally naman may media kit yan, wherein, like, yes, they contain, so... like, all of the rates, mm-hmm. all of the services that the influencer mm-hmm. provides. So, maybe you can ask yung sabi nga ni, ni Ace, no? Na parang, it's an art. So maybe the way yeah. you approach also. And it's also about relationships, no? Uh-oh. Truly about relationships. Right. So when mm-hmm. you start and kung friend mo naman, tama naman yung sinasabi niya. Pag, pag friend yan, normally naman they can do it for free, no? Pero mm-hmm. obviously, don't assume na ibibigay niya. Don't, yes. Yeah. Don't assume. <laughs> yes. You kasi know, parang man. pumunta ka doon at uh, pwede Uh-oh. mo pang ilag dito. So maybe, like, ask nicely, like, 
if I want to engage with you, friend, like, yeah. how, how should I, like, how should we do this, no? Do you have, like, yeah. rates or, di ba? Kasi kung sabihin naman ng friend mo na, ay, sus, meron ako rates, pero hayaan mo na, gagawin ko oh, na. Oo, ba? Don't think about ah, it, di ba? Oo, hayaan Correct. mo siya. Pero huwag kang mag-assume na yes, <laughs> oh. Pero yung mandate na gagawin niya. Right. Yung, Correct, correct. So, oh, yeah, oh. that's that's a that's a nice um that's a nice way of putting it, no. My art and also my science, no. Yes. So, yeah, let's talk about science naman eh. So, mm-hmm. let's say I engage with the the influencer, no. So, what are the things baguhan ako, hindi ko alam. This is my yeah. first time also like engaging let's say with an influencer. What are mm-hmm. the things that I should ask them to submit? Meron ba silang isa submit para malaman ko kung effective sila? What do okay. I need to like what do I need to like uh, monitor? What do mm-hmm. I need to make sure na parang na, nabibigay sa akin or I do it, mm-hmm. no? Yeah. And then also, how can I say na effective nga siya based on mm-hmm. all of these things? Yeah. Okay. Very nice question. Mm-hmm. Sige, let's, let's do it part by part. No? Yes. The yes. first one, parang when I want to engage, what do I need to make them submit? Or what are the things that I need to know, no? Well, top level, top level of course you have to know the niche that they're you know that they're interested in uh, mahalaga yon syempre uh, even if it's a brand like uh, possibly safeguard mm-hmm. yun yung mga ano eh mga katrabaho ni Mommy Jane <laughs> <laughs> yun yun ang babanggitin natin <laughs> oh yun ang babanggitin natin oh so for example it's safeguard diba and they have a campaign for example say a new flavor of soap Mm-hmm. So, you, and, the, and the new flavor of soap has probably anti-aging, fit for mga women in their 40s, ganyan. Of course, that is a different target market. No? So, the reason why I'm saying this is, uh, ano ba yung dapat kong hingin? Hingin mo muna kung ano yung parang, uh, of course, the, and uh, something that, com- that, have, that has to come before this mm-hmm. is, uh, pre-select mo na sila, no? Yes. Na doon sa uh, kung anong product or brand mo na gusto mong i-campaign. So, na-pre-select mo na. When you've selected these influencers, mm-hmm. ayan, uh, mm, baka naman we could get we could get number one, uh, maybe yung yung insights that they have in Instagram. Mm-hmm. This okay. is assuming this is assuming that you do it manually, ha? Their insights mm-hmm. in whatever channel you wish to engage them in. Be it YouTube, blog, whatever. Yes. Okay. Assuming you're do it, you're, you want to do it manually first or be, you do it manually. Uh, so, get their insights in whatever channel or online touch point you wish to engage them on. Uh, and then, after that, uh, tignan mo if, okay, given your initial statistics or at least the latest one, um, is this a good match? Okay. okay. If, if okay naman, if nag align naman siya dun sa gusto mong ma-achieve, yeah. it'd be good. We could start with an engagement, no? And the reason why that is important is success has to be defined right away kasi. And this is where we say it's successful, no? Okay. It's successful, an influencer marketing campaign is successful if it meets your initial goals that you've set. Right? Okay, yes. And, and, and the reason why many people think that, oh, hindi naman effective ang influencers or, ay, hindi magmagana influencer marketing sa akin uh-huh. because probably they did not identify their goal at first or maybe their goals were so outrageous. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so like, okay, we work with, when we work with clients, we always ask them their OMPM. This is something that I learned dito sa startup community. You know, you're one metric that matters. No, yes. That's very, very important because that's what we will try to achieve. Diba? That's where we will, you know, strategize based on that OMPM. If you want views, if you want downloads, if you want whatever, you know, that's yeah. where we will strategize. Of course, if you want views, you wouldn't want to engage an influencer that's fine, pretty, and matches your brand okay, but mm-hmm. doesn't meet naman your doesn't meet naman your your KPIs or your OMPM, diba? Mm-hmm. Or um, if you want influ- if you wanna if you want downloads. Of course, it's going to be very, very difficult to achieve if you engage with small influencers. Yeah. You know? oh, so, um, okay. there also has to, you know, there is a strategy. There's an execution plan that has to be in place. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, well, you know, one thing is asking for their latest insights, top yeah, level. At right. least that will enable you to make a decision if they're the right fit for it. Okay, all right. Sige, so in terms of like budget, Ace, no? Um, mm-hmm. 
how much if I'm uh, madali na lang pagka malaking companies na yan, diba? Kasi they have yeah, yeah, yeah. resources to pay for, yeah. like, uh, multiple influencers per tier, yeah. for example. But right. in terms of, like, MSMEs, no? Like, mm-hmm. where do I begin? Like, how much should I spend? And, mm-hmm. um... Yeah, oh, because I want to really try out influencers, but I don't know how much. Yeah, oh, uh huh. It's difficult to give a value because it depends on what you want. Of course, when the budgets are limited, uh, what we can do is also very limited, unless, of course, we have resources, i.e., personal network, yeah. uh, that yeah. will, you know, that will help us achieve what we want with very, very limited. Financial resources, pero sabi ko nga, there's no such thing as free lunch. So of course, if we want to engage influencers, we also have to appropriate something for them. Maybe kung hindi man kung hindi man cash, something that's of value to them. Mm-hmm. You know? honestly, ngayong pandemic, I've seen a lot of the influencers, the content creators. Of course, they've been left unemployed. Walang campaigns, walang mga projects, walang social media postings. Yeah. Oh, Tapos, naging walang limited pa yung... Yeah. Oo, oh, okay. naging limited pa yung movement. So, wala rin silang events. Wala silang, wala silang magawa, right? And so, a lot of them are very thankful because some brands may mga paayuda. <laughs> may, mga pa, may mga pabigay. Na even if it's not cash, it's something that's very valuable to the influencers at that point in time, at this point in time. So, you know, they still post about it. You Correct. know, so, yes. so it, it's not, it doesn't have to be cash all the time. You know, it just has to be something that's of value, something that the influencer will deem as, okay, this is helpful for me in whatever mm-hmm. way. Yeah. You know, so, um, siguro for, for MSMEs, what, it's good, it's, it's good to ask, no? What does your business have that answers uh, or heeds to a consumer pain point, to, an, mm-hmm. to a pain point that these influencers have right now? Maybe they need help in terms of the ayuda, the groceries, right? Yeah. Or maybe they need help uh, in terms of whatever, whatever, mm-hmm. whatever your business is. Kung ano man yung offer mo, if it's of value to them, then I'm, I'm pretty sure naman, a lot of them will say yes to it. Oo, maganda, no? Because um, mm-hmm. a lot of, ano naman, hindi naman, I think naman at this point in time, like a lot of influencers understand also the needs of yes. the businesses, no? Especially pag yes. small business owner ka. Correct. Well, tao mm-hmm. din naman sila. I mean, tao din mm-hmm. naman. <laughs> so, naintindihan namin yung if you really need Correct. help in promoting, no? And it yes. all really begins with, yun nga, relationships talaga. That's yes. that crucial, no? For all of us Correct. in the industry. So, yes. in terms of like, um, Ace, no? Like for brands, for example, like, yeah. How do I uh, maintain relationships with these influencers? Because ito na lang sa dami dami ng brands that I'm su- I suppose who are yes. contacting like a specific influencer, no? Like mm-hmm. how do I build that relationship? And mm-hmm. ba, How do I keep that coming? Uh, well, keep that relationship growing, yeah. no? Yeah. Uh oh. Well, um. Traditionally, and this is what most PR firms would do, no? They would have regular events. They would have, you know, their their specific influencer lists. Na yun yung lagi nilang dinadala, iniimbitahan, no? Yes. And uh, and most of the time, they also give gifts to to these influencers who are part of their list. That's how the relationships are also developed and nourished. Yes. Pero, siyempre, nung araw, hindi pa naman ganito karami. Di ba? Di ba? Oh, Mamji. Oh, hindi pa ganito karami. Dati, <laughs> ikilang lang magkakil. 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 Dati, magkakakilala pa yan. Siguro 100 uh-huh. lang yung talagang active in the space. Buong Pilipinas na yun, ha? Hmm. Pero, again, siyempre, you know, uh, nung, nung nandiyan na yung social media, dumami na, I mean, like, pati mga bata, nandiyan na rin. You know, wala nang pinipiling yeah. edad. Or wala na. So, dumami na. And that makes it more challenging, no, for, yeah. for many businesses to develop that relationship. Now, how do we go about it? Okay. Of course, hindi naman nabibuild ang relationship sa isahang post lang or sa isahang, mm-hmm. okay, uy, gawin mo naman to, ganyan. Siyempre, kaya nga relationship building yan, no? It takes time, it takes mm-hmm. effort, it takes talent also sometimes. Yes. Uh-huh. And, uh, you know, it just has to be very, very consistent. So, 
uh, when brands really are invested in building these relationships with influencers, then they engage these influencers on a longer term. Or at least they, you know, they, they commit something for uh, not a one-time period of time, you know? Yeah. Alang naman, di ba? Parang, okay, nagkita tayo once, nagchikahan tayo, may small talk. Okay na, na tayo. <laughs> Oo, parang, I'll support you every step of the way na ba? Parang, di naman siguro ganon, di ba? So, so, parang, there has to be multiple, uh, multiple, parang, ano ito? Yeah, parang, interaction. Oo, oh, oh, interaction. So, yeah. there has to be multiple interactions to for you to build that relationship. I mean, I mean, mm-hmm. siguro for brands, you know, one-time postings, of course, it gets the job done. And for, for some brands, that's all that matters. Okay lang yon, ba? But for brands who wish to really commit to influencer marketing, they have to engage influencers for a longer period of time. Remember, influencers are, are normal human people. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And you know, right? we're not talking to robots. We're not talking to institutions na talagang corporation na uh-huh. you know, fake, entity fake talaga. person. Uh-huh. Okay, fake uh-huh. entity. Di ba? Ay, hindi naman fake entity. Ba, 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 fake person siya. Di ba? Yeah. Pero we're, we're talking with humans that have feelings and uh, mm-hmm. you know, emotions. Life happens to them. And there's a ano talaga yan? Pero yeah. we, we need to understand and take that into account. You, in terms of like ano, no, nabanggit mo na parang there are a lot of influencers now so, para siyang sinaunang panahon, well, I can compare it to like sinaunang panahon when everyone yeah. wanted to be like, let's say, an artista, no? Oh, oh, celebrity, right. diba? So, yes. um, and some people like really make it big, diba? Like, yes. big, like Anne Curtis and all of these uh-huh. mga big stars. Yeah. But some mm-hmm. like don't really become that successful, no? Right. So, parang yung in this kind of landscape, no? Mm-hmm. So, as a brand, who do you know, like, who to back up later on? Like, in terms of building relationships as well. Because I'm sure, meron yun, let's say, meron yun metrics kasi in mind that you want also, shepherd your brand, no? That, right, right, uh, right. No ma-achieve mo later on for your yes. business, for your, for, for your corporation, no? Mm-hmm. So, at this point in time, like, what qualities do I look for in an influencer because I know that this person mm-hmm. will possibly make it big yeah. in the end, or possibly, yeah. kahit naman hindi big, but he mm-hmm. or she will be a good representation or representative of mm-hmm. the brand, you know, of mm-hmm. our brand. You know, mm-hmm. how, what are the qualities that we should find as a brand? Yeah. Well, okay, first and foremost, kailangan, uh, at least because, of course, you know, we're heavily online, uh, kailangan siguro whatever the influencer projects online it's mm-hmm. it's something that the brand can can stand by it can mm-hmm. stand for <laughs> you yeah. know uh, yes, kumbaga, oh, oh. Okay, like a, like say say an influencer is super duper social i mean is a brand really super duper social yeah yung parang, yeah. is there a match with the uh, with how the influencer projects himself or herself in in on, in the mm-hmm. online world uh, and how the brand wishes to be perceived. Yeah. And siguro yung pinaka-important, no? Parang, uh, is the image aligned? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but uh, another one that I can think of right now is, kung, kumbaga, uh, well, uh, for lack of a better term, maayos pa katrabaho. Mm-hmm. Siyempre, kahit naman gaano kagaling yan, kahit, kung mahirap naman ka usap, kung sasakit naman ng ulo mo, uh, girl, I mean, di ba? Choose to walk away for your peace of mind, di ba? And we've experienced a lot of those. We've experienced a lot of those. Uh, you know, um, and mahalaga rin yun, no? Minsan, parang, eh, kasi okay siya kausap. Madali siyang kausap, you know? Siyempre, tao lang din naman tayo, di ba? <laughs> Nagtatrabaho lang din naman tayo, di ba? And we want to make our lives easier. And lastly, siguro, if, if, if we know the value that they bring, maybe not hindi benta agad, maybe hindi agad yon, no? But if they are able to bring a very, very positive perception about our brand, even if they don't bring sales right away, they might be of value to us. It's true. Yeah, so, um, yeah, maybe those are the three things. Yeah. So, 
maybe at this point, no, parang siguro related naman to the side of influencers. No? Yeah. So that's very important that we all know like who we are as individuals. Yes. Because, diba, syempre, if we don't know who we are, mm-hmm. the brands will not know who we are. <laughs> diba? Right, 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 so, right. right. Mm-hmm. And, ano, eh, and siguro going back to the point for, for brands naman, no, there are yeah. some things that are like sort of like short-term goals. No? Like you want to mm-hmm. engage with influencers in the sh- for this point in yes. time because there right. is value that that you both can give each other at this right. point in time but then again these influencers are like people no so they're forever yes. changing so maybe mm-hmm. now she can be a good fit for the brand pero later mm-hmm. on baka iba na yung like Ay, niya na. Oh, oh. gusto niya iba na yung um, gusto yeah. niya for herself or himself no? right but mm-hmm. yun nga eh, but what really lasts kasi tama si Ace, no, are the qualities that you can't do away with. Like, let's say, mm-hmm. yan, hardworking, mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah, very, ano, um, let's say, yeah. integrity, commitment. Mm-hmm. No? If mm-hmm. one mm-hmm. says, nagagawin ko talaga, gagawin ko talaga, I won't back yes. up. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah. also, values the same things that you do. No? Yun mm-hmm. nga. So, yeah, if if talagang if it's professionalism that you value, look for like people who will be professional. Kasi kahit na ano pa yung mm-hmm. interests yan later on, that yeah. will never change for the person. If ganun mm-hmm. talaga siya, I mean, if authentic, <laughs> hindi natin alam, yes. but, but if authentically ganun siya, yes. hindi magbabago, mm-hmm. hindi yun magbabago. No? If is mm-hmm. if good listener yan, or if, if very empathic, mm-hmm. or uh, I mean, he or she empathizes with a lot of people, ganun na talaga yung mm-hmm. So, and so, sabi nga nila, Mommy G, no, parang it's also parang for, for brands, no, it's also finding your tribe. Sino yung influencer tribe na talagang, okay, this is my squad. Oh, this <laughs> is my family. Parang gano'n. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So parang yan, nagiging uso nga yan, no, na parang uh, brands also now not only think of like yung engaging with influencers during the scope of work that yes. you're on, but also beyond that, no? Like what value can we give you beyond our engagement, beyond this content? Yes. No? So uh-uh, that's something uh-uh. that you also should, uh, you also should think, no? As a brand, maybe uh, in building relationships, hindi lang naman siya one-off, eh. Like engage ko yes. siya hindi mo na maririnig. Ano na nangyari? Ayaw na ba nila sa... Sana. Oo, oh, oh, correct. Ganun din yung feeling namin as influencers eh. Parang after one one contract, tapos hindi ka bumalik. Oh. Like, what happened? Like, yeah. baka naman you can also let us know how we can improve, di ba? Or, yeah. kung okay man yung campaign, let us know as well. But, like, right. or like, or mag, kumas, mag, kamusta ka naman, yeah. di ba? Kumamusta ka yes. naman. Mm-hmm. Every so often, di ba? So, correct. Um, okay, so uh, is let's go to Blogapalooza, no? Like, what yes. challenges naman that you've encountered like build, building this platform and like hmm. dealing with brands and, and influencers? Oh my gosh, really? I can think of so many challenges. I mean, uh, as an entrepreneur, pero if we talk about challenges on dealing siguro with influencers muna, uh, well, iba-iba kasi ang influencers. So, syempre, tao sila. So, may, may iba-ibang temperaments. May iba-ibang mga ay, di, mga trip sa buhay. Uh, so, so may ibang mga, iba't ibang mga quirks. So, that's also the challenge. Kasi some of them, very, very straightforward. Madaling kausap. Okay, ito gagawin. Okay, sige. Ah, kailangan yan. Okay, bigay. Pero may iba ang dami pang kailangang explanation. Kasi, kumbaga, there are also some influencers na they're very creative, you know? I mean, they could put out concepts right away. But when you talk about commercials, wala, di na nila alam gagawin nila. Oo. Oh, you know? yeah. uh, there are also those naman na parang puro na lang commercials. Girl, gawa rin tayo. Work din oh. tayo. Diba? May mga ganun din. So, um, siguro yun yung challenge na when dealing with influencers and building this community, iba-iba talaga silang types of persons, no? And I'm speaking about building a community nationwide, di ba? Iba, iba ang ugali, ang beliefs, uh, you know, values that they hold dear. Iba yung mga, for example, nag-say, 
Iligan City, CDO, sa mga taga uh, Isabela, Cagayan, yung mga ganyan, di ba? Iba, iba, iba sila, you know? Okay. And uh, yun siguro one of the major challenges in, in dealing with the influencers. In dealing with brands naman, of course, major challenge always, they don't know what they want, number one. Number two, they feel like or they think that influencers are the magic pill. It will solve magically all their problems. Uh-huh. When they engage influencers, oh my gosh, their sales will go through the roof. Uh-huh. Hindi po yan, ganyan. And when, when we explain it to them, no? And, oh, and also dealing with brands, syempre, yung, it's always a problem. Commercials, the economics, the budgets. Mm-hmm. Parang expectation versus reality. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Uh-huh. Parang expectation nila, oh, may, may, 50,000 will be able to blah, 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 blah. You know? Yes, uh-huh. But that's, yun ang mga challenges naman sa brands. Mm-hmm. Pero when we speak of challenges in terms of building the company, uh-huh. oh my gosh, <laughs> don't get me going. Di tayo, di tayo matatapos. Pero marami yan. Marami yan. Siyempre, you know, the people inside, the, the, the team, the internal team, also putting, putting in processes, uh, and simply emotional roller coaster that you have to go you have to go through on a daily basis uh, you, you siguro correct oh kasi business naman talaga yan eh correct oh so, ang daming mga challenges talaga yes so maybe ano in terms of like ano naman um trends siguro mm. is like what are you seeing that uh will happen after this i'm assuming naman mm. i Ma- mawawala na tong virus, no? Oh, and, sana talaga. Oh, my gosh, no? So, what are you seeing naman in terms of like trends before, during, and possibly after? Hmm. Very nice question. Hmm, siguro before, what I saw, what I've observed, no? The practice before, it was more of like a trial and error system. Uh, before, parang, oh, uh, parang sikat ngayon itong ano na to, ha? Itong influencer na to, sige, sakyan natin yung kasikatan niya. Mga ganyan. Parang trial and error before. Uh, we're, we're speaking of the pandemic, no? Before the pandemic, yes, ganyan, no? Correct, correct. Uh, during the pandemic, I, I noticed, I've observed, people were at a loss. What do we communicate? How do we communicate? Who do we even engage at this time? Or, or even, is it even wise to engage influencers at this time? So, maraming brands actually ang tumahimik nung pandemic, if you have noticed. Talagang, ano, they're very, very careful. Some really talaga wala. Blackout. Oh. Oh. Oh, parang very, very careful. Very, very sensitive ang mga tao nung, nung during the, the lockdown period. So, that's what I saw. However, uh, what good thing and then to bring about non is, and this is what I think, what, what will happen after, no? After this pandemic. Uh, kita natin yung boom talaga ng e-commerce nitong during the pandemic uh, sales of online shops really went high even if people are you know eh, syempre bored na bored yung mga tao sa bahay diba for those who are capable and are privileged enough talagang online shopping na lang yung kanilang entertainment no and and because of this e-commerce um, wide e-commerce acceptance i think lang no that moving forward influencer marketing will be very very quantitative uh, two things, no? First, of course, quantitative in terms of uh, metrics, mm-hmm. okay? And quantitative, quantitative in terms of value, okay? Mm-hmm. Value probably in the money that you bring, and, uh, you know, uh, and, and that's what I, you know, that's also what I tell influencers, parang, paano ba maging competitive uh, mm-hmm. after this pandemic? You have to think of how how you could be valuable to the brand in terms of bringing in the sales. Tapos na yung mga brands sa vanity metrics. Sa so, totoo lang, no? Parang nakaget over naman na siguro ang marami sa kanila doon sa follower count. Marami na sa, I mean, like, ano na nila yan? Alam na nila yan. Sige na. Pero like, can you actually bring business, or can you actually, you know, um, improve the bottom line? Mm-hmm. May, I mean, I, I think, you know, moving forward, brands wouldn't care if you have 1,000 followers as long as there's something that you bring to the table in terms of bottom line. Yeah, you know? that's true. And that's very, very important for influencers to know, especially at this time, kasi sobrang dami na ng influencers, diba? sobrang dami ng mga content creators. Now, what sets you apart? No? Yeah. 
the brands have to know and you have to let them know, you have to communicate that this is the value that I bring. I'm not just any other fashion blogger, makeup, beauty, lifestyle, whatever. I'm not just any other. Hindi ako katulad nila na, you know, you have to stand out. There's so many. Uh, yon. So um, that's, I think, moving forward, what will be important for brands are those two things. What you bring about in terms of metrics and the value talaga to their bottom line. How can we move the needle for the brand? So are we seeing like longer contracts, Ace? Kasi sa totoo lang, like ang hirap mm-hmm. din for like influencers, no? Sa position mm-hmm. naman. If, they, mm-hmm. if brands only like um, mm-hmm. get us, let's say, for three yes. months and then expect mm-hmm. conversion at that short Correct. Know, that period of Correct. time. Correct. Like, Tingin nyo, pag nag-post kami ng tatlong Instagram posts, makakakak na ng conversion, di ba? So, yeah. so, yun. So, is that something that we mm-hmm. um, we should see more of right now? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, honestly speaking, longer contracts, don't ex- actually, contracts-wise, don't expect a lot muna. A lot of companies are recovering. Maybe yeah. some of them, maybe some of them, of course, may mga tira pang budgets, you know, but it's not, I, I don't see it at least figures lang in inside our company no i think our 2020 2019 pareho lang where we thought na siguro 2020 will be a boom kasi oh you know but, but again you know baka it's not going to be as good as how we would have we would have forecasted uh, so maybe long term contracts will still be there maybe especially for brands who have really appropriated amounts for it but i would i don't think there will be long term contracts for brands who are just starting trying it out maybe experimenting baka hindi pa so my honest blogger mama advice for for influencers you know well if if there's something then take it if you think it fits you uh, be thankful for opportunities because opportunities are not as plentiful as how we would want them to be right now. Yes. And uh, take it as good opportunities to to also help bring value to the businesses. Sabi nga nila may balik naman ng lahat. Alam mo yun, may balik naman ng lahat. If you think na, you know, it's a good value exchange naman at this point, if you find it in your heart to help these businesses also, then please say yes. Please say yes. yes. The businesses help that. Help. Uh, the businesses need that help. Mm-hmm. So, siguro, no, in the in the near future, I mean, in the next few months, no, mm-hmm. since e-commerce is booming, a lot of these brands will also test palang, no? Mostly parang yes. siya test palang. But yun uh-huh. nga, maganda yung advice mo, like, keep track of your metrics. Because mm-hmm. possibly in the long term, it will all already, like, should result to like let's say conversions for their brands no so mm-hmm. yeah kasi ngayon i'm sure baka nga because of like limited resources as well mm-hmm. hindi na talaga yan long term so mm-hmm. spurts lang yan also again of like scope of work diba pasulot sa yeah. pero yeah. yeah eventually if they do recover and because nga mm-hmm. e-commerce is booming yes and maybe you know, in the future yun na parang mm-hmm. Uh, the ideal scenario is really like brands, like entities mm. like Blogapalooza and influencers yeah. will work together towards like uh, to generate more revenues and uh, attain your business objective. Mm-hmm. Of the business, no? Yeah, um, so important talaga mommy G yung ano eh. Mm-hmm. Kailangan the influencers also know what they bring to the table. And what I mean by that is some influencers, they're very, very good for reach. Pero wala talagang bibili. But you know, they're very, very good for reach. And that's fine. That's an advantage. You know, that's a strength that you have. So uh, it's important for an influencer to also know that. Saan ba ako magaling? Kasi kung magaling ako mag ng awareness talaga, eh di i-focus ko, yung strength ko yung awareness eh. Pero if talagang, you know, many people believe in me and I know that. When I speak about something, oh my gosh, people will just, what's that, friend? You know? Oh, yeah. You know? May, may ganun talaga. And it really depends on what kind of strengths do you have. Ako, I... I just, um, I, I wrote a blog about it. Sabi ko, we give, uh, an influencer gives value in three ways, ano? Mm-hmm. First is education, education, yeah. entertainment, 
and empowerment. So, three things yan. Okay? So, parang given those, what what do we bring to the table? San tayo malakas, di ba? If we're very, very strong in, di ba? Kaya ako, okay lang sa akin yung mga influencers na patawa lang, yung mga, oh, yung mga funny-funny lang. And that's the value that they bring, di ba? Alam nila na yun yung strength nila. Hindi sila probably mag- magaling for the you know, parang talagang, <laughs> oo, eh, hindi sila magaling sa masyadong brain work, di ba? Pero, I mean, brain work in terms of the technicals and that. Pero, pero mag- magaling sila magpatawa. Magaling silang parang just being themselves and naaaliw na yung mga tao and that's fine, di ba? That's totally fine, right? So, alamin lang nila siguro, what do I bring to the table? What are my strengths? How can I give value given what I have? Maganda yan, ha? Maganda yung three E's mo na yan, ha? Yeah. So, very clear na sa mind ko. Like ako, I can, yeah, I, I can not, <laughs> I cannot do yung mga TikTok, TikTok na ginagawa. Hindi ba? Ako din eh. Oo, oo. Yeah, pero I can obviously give education and possibly empowerment no, to other mm-hmm. people. Kasi yun naman yung strength. Oh, oh. It's really like yes. uh, drilling down and getting to the nitty gritty aspects of like topics. Yes. So, and stick to that. that. Yes. yes, stick to that. Huwag mong piliting mag-tikto kung hindi ka talaga pang tikto. <laughs> no? Yes, huwag mong pilitin, di ba? Be strong. Like, you know, when you know it's your strength, then sharpen it. Kaysa naman, pipilitin mo mag-tikto, magsasasayaw dyan, magdadadab dyan ng kung ano-ano na hindi mo yung strength. You know? And share ko lang, Mommy G. I, I really, I really idolize. Oh my gosh, over time na ba tayo? Pero sorry. <laughs> I mean, I, I really wanna share lang. Parang, uh, you know, parang I, I, I super duper idolize Bianca Gonzalez kasi she has this blo- vlog na parang she doesn't care. Parang oh, hindi niya hinahabol yung subscriber. Wala siyang ganun eh. Because alam niya na yung strength niya is giving value talaga to people okay. in terms of life. advice, di ba? And, and even the book that she wrote way back, no? It was all really, paano ba to? Uh, you know, how to deal with life. How to deal with the challenges that uh, you know, are thrown by the universe upon yeah. us. Yeah? Ganyan. And alam ni Bianca, na that's her strength. Super idol ko siya. Hello, Bianca. <laughs> um, and, 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 diba? And marami rin, marami rin mga influencers, probably, let's say, an Alex Gonzaga. Alam niya na talagang entertaining siya. And, oh. Yeah. And she focuses on that. Diba? Hindi niya pinipilit maging super duper matalino na, you know, Know, she's just herself. She's yeah. just herself. And yeah, at, at different points in time naman, tayo no, as people, we like, look for entertainment, we look for like, yes, oh, right. Look for, yeah, empowerment oh. at times, so when we're mm-hmm. down, so ako rin eh, ako sobra, minamarathon ko si Alex Gonzaga. Yes, me oh, also. So, uh, nakakatawa <laughs> kasi siya. Nakakatawa eh. kasi siya. Whenever like, mm-hmm. I watch her videos. So yeah, mm-hmm. very good tips, no is. So thank you so much for guesting here in GTV. Sure. I hope a lot of people, like brands, especially brands, um, learned a lot from our session today because um, it's crucial now that we know how to deal with influencers and mm-hmm. also know then you from their own perspective, from their perspective, no what what mm-hmm. their business is all about. How do they right. deal with their business as well? Yeah. Like how you also can help them, like uh, right. in terms of direction, in terms of like engaging them as partners, mm-hmm. not only as mm-hmm. like, content creators. So very yeah. important yon na maintindihan din natin like what yeah. the other party is doing no and how they're feeling. Yon so yeah. thank you again. Thank you sa lahat of ng viewers. Um okay, I will I will possibly put down yung mga uh, links of Blogapalooza of Aces blog in our show notes below. And if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe and also click on the notification bell. So that's it. Yes. Bye. Bye.